Hey, hi everyone. This is Baka Pachan Shulkar. Welcome back to Test Automation to Selenium. In this tutorial, we will discuss how to verify error messages in Selenium driver or Selenium automation testing. <coughs> First, I'll discuss with the scenario and with respect to that, we will write the test script and we will verify the error messages from the web application. First, what we will do is <coughs> just I'll show you the, the dummy application this is my uh, web application when you click when you load this page you will get into this home page so when you click on this particular button join now so it, it will prompts you, prompts you the error message called please enter your first name so you have to verify this error message is displayed properly on the web application that can be done by using the assertion in selenium automation testing first we will discuss uh, uh, two ways of assertions and uh, after that we will discuss how to handle in case assertion fails by using the try catch finally black sorry block so let us uh, jump to the eclipse ID first we will launch this browser and you will enter this URL and after that you will click on this join but join now button and you will read this error message by using the get text so let us jump to the eclipse id so here what i'll do is just i'll go to previous video session and i'll copy these three lines of code this launches me the web browser and it enters me the specified url into the web browser so let us take this URL and once you enter this particular URL you have to click on this join now button so I open this application with the Firefox browser just right click on that uh, button join now button so just inspect in Firepath so here you, you are getting a CSS selector value because I have selected CSS value so if you want uh, xpath just you select the xpath here so in my case i will take css value just i will call to the find element by css selector so i need to click on that uh, particular button right so i will call to the click operation and after that i need to read this uh, particular error message right so if i need to verify so right click on that uh, error message and just do inspect in file path you are getting the css value because i have selected here the css value just take that css value so just uh, call to the find by just follow the same procedure for this getting the error message so here I'm using the get text method. This get text method returns me the string value, right? So just I'm reading the text. That is nothing but error message. I'll store that into the string type of variable. Instead of declaring variable here, it'll declare it in globally. Uh, sorry, globally. Actual error message. So let us copy this. Just I'll declare this variable as a global variable and we'll declare one more global variable that is called this should be actual error message. So what I'll do is just I'll rename this with the expected error message. That's all. We'll use these two variables in the test. So let me delete this one that's all this sentence sorry this statement that reads the this error message that is please enter your first name so after that what you have to do is you should have expected error message so for this means how you are uh, how you should see this see that particular error message in the application so just will copy this 
you will be getting in uh, getting it from the client or that is a your use case these error messages if you are working in a real time project so in my case just i'm taking error messages from the application itself so first we'll put after that we'll uh, write one statement called driver dot quit dot quit yes sir we'll write an assertion to verify that particular error message in selenium automation testing so what i'll do is i'll call to assert one static method called assert equals that takes two types of sorry two parameters first one i'll pass the actual error message because i need to compare this text message right that is this error message so you have to enter the actual actual error message and expected this is my expected error message so just i'll copy this variable and just i'll paste it here and after that we'll write one uh, system dot out dot println it's out just i'll print out test passed that's all once this condition is true then only this statement will be executed so let me run this uh, test yes it is executing perfectly you can see here right test is passed your uh, that is printing and here uh, total test run is sorry test run is one there are no failures because it is executing perfectly because whatever actual error message and the expected error messages messages are equal this is the one type of assertion in selenium automation testing or a selenium web driver and the second type of assertion is just use the class name called assert dot assert true this takes the condition single condition what you have to specify is you have to take the actual error message here and then it is similar to the string operation so here i'm calling to the contains contains method so you have inside that you have to specify the string that is expected error message these are the string operations you have i think you have used this contains method with the string when you are performing uh, string related operations this method will be executed if this test will be test passed will be printed only once this condition is true whatever you have specified under the assertion so this is a second kind of assertion let us execute this test and we'll see whether it is working correctly or not wait for a few seconds so it launches the browser sorry browser and after that it enters the specified url and then it should compare the value and it should close the web browser yes it is showing a total test run is 1 and the failure is 0 it is printing perfectly that is whatever it is executing 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 this step because these actual error message and the expected error messages are equal let us comment to this line these are the two kind of assertions you can do when you are verifying the test sorry test with respect to error messages verifying so just what i'll do is just i'll make this expected expected error messages i'll make uh, little changes in that just i'll enter something 
1, 2, 3, 4. Now this condition fails. When the condition is fails, you will not execute this steps after that assertion statement. So, just I will show you this test will be not passed, it will not print you the test passed because this assertion is getting failed. So, let us execute this program. I will tell you how to uh, handle this assertion when you are uh, verifying the error messages and if you want to execute the steps which are after that assertion statement. Yes, you can see here. See here, expected, uh, expected is this one, but found is just your please enter your first name because it is getting failed because this statements, this error messages are not matching correctly. Because of that here, this next statement is test pass is not printing here. So, how to handle this kind of situation is just I will show you with a simple example. So, just select this statement and click right, right click on that statement, just surround with try catch block. And after that, whatever the statements you are writing, right, whatever the statements you want to execute, right, that one you have to put it in the finally block. That's all. This time, you should execute this particular statement. If you don't know how to hand, how to use this try, catch block and finally block, I have created separate tutorial for Java only. So, just go through with the uh, uh, exception handling in Java programming for Selenium automation testing. So, now this assertion statement fails, still it will execute this system.out.println statement. Let us run this test. it will simply log the error and it will execute the next statements which we have mentioned it in the finally block. Yes, just go to the result here. It is got failed because it is log it is logged with the error whatever the expected and the actual error message, these, these two are not matching. And here you can see, test password is printing now this time, because you are, you are handling, you are, uh, you are handling exceptions here. That is how you have to verify the error messages in the Selenium web driver or Selenium automation testing. That is all I have in this tutorial. And uh, in the next tutorial, we will discuss how about uh, test ng annotations, that is the test ng framework annotations that helps the testers to write the test scripts very easy way. So, that is all I have in this video session. Stay tuned for the next video sessions on test ng annotations. Please do like, share and subscribe to this channel and this videos and if you have any queries, please contact me directly with my email id and whatsapp number and thanks for watching.